Yes, what's on your mind? Oh, you want to argue some more, is that it? So I've seen. If I were Malik, I'd be a bit nervous to have you on my tail. I just don't trust easily. And for good reasons, which are my own. Oh, damn it. I suppose I won't get any rest until I talk, will I? You want to know why I don't trust anyone? Fine. Here goes. Five years ago, the Jedi had just finished the war with the Mandalorians. Revan and Malak were heroes. I was damn proud to have served in their fleet. It was completely unexpected when they turned on us, invading the Republic while we were still weak. Nobody knew what to think, least of all me. Our heroes had become brutal, conquering Sith. And we were all but helpless before them. I mean, think about it, if you can't even trust the best of the Jedi, who can you trust? It's not that, it's... That's not what I mean. There were, there were others, good, solid, trusted men who joined them. Malak and Revan and the Sith deserve to die for what they've done, but the ones who fled the Republic and joined them are even worse. The dark side has nothing to do with why they joined with the Sith. They deserve no mercy. I know, I'm... And I should apologize to you. I've, I've become so accustomed to expecting the worst in others, and you've done nothing to deserve that. It's just... No, well, never mind. Let's just continue with what we were doing. I'd rather not talk about it. It is good sometimes to stop and reflect on the beauty of nature and the Force. I am sorry. I tend to get carried away. I do not believe we have met, Apprentice. My name is Nemo. Is there something I can help you with? Indeed. What is it you would like from me? The Council has told you nothing of the Grove? Do not be so quick to judge circumstances about which you are ignorant. Not everything may be as transparent as you would believe. The Grove can be found to the south and east in the plains, but be wary of cathounds. They may be agitated by the power in the Grove. Is there something else I can help you with? I hope your time is well spent here on Dantooine. Greetings, friend. I think I can safely assume you are a member of the Jedi Order. Has the Council agreed to hear our petition? Oh, I'm sorry. I was mistaken. Does the Council require our presence? Ah, yes. Thank you, Master Jedi. Stay here, Rilka. I'll be back in an hour or so. Yes, dear. Good luck. I hope the Jedi Council will listen to Gar. If they don't, I don't know what we'll do. Are you a Jedi? How long can you people continue to sit by and claim you protect us? Protectors? Ha! You sit in your enclave safe from the Mandalorians while we suffer. Is that an impersonation of Basila? I if it is... It's a good one. You Jedi have left them alone because they haven't harmed you. But they steal our property, destroy our land, and worse. I say we look for these Mandalorians. I fought them in the war. They're nothing but vicious pirates. We should, we should stop them if we can. Those Mandalorian brutes have killed my daughter. You should have protected her better. And you call yourself her father. And what am I supposed to do against a dozen Mandalorians and Duros? Nothing. There was nothing I could do. They came to our land demanding our livelihood. But Ilsa, my Ilsa, said no. There was nothing I could do. Too many of the Mandalorians and their Duro's allies. I've come here to ask you, please, Master Jedi, stop these raiders and get revenge for my daughter. I will give you all I have. Just please annihilate them from the face of this planet. Greetings, young Jedi. I wonder if you could assist me. I seem to have lost my... companion, you see? We were working on my farm to the north of here. I was working in the garden outside, and he was working inside. I heard the door to the house open, but not close. I went to see, and found it wide open. I searched everywhere and could not find him. I worry so much. I need him back so badly. I wonder if... He... Could he have been kidnapped? Cathounds are not intelligent enough to open doors. Though they have been more vicious lately. No. It must have been someone who could open the door by himself. 
couldn't think of it. The door was locked. No, the door was undamaged and showed no signs of tampering. Well, yes, it could have, but he had no reason to run away. His programming... Well, yes, he is a droid, but he is very valuable to me all the same. He's the last piece of my poor passed away husband that I have left. He is very dear to me, my precious is. I don't know what I'd do without him. He's the only companionship I have on all of Dantooine. He is a personal assistance droid. My husband was a genius at constructing droids. He made this one capable of taking care of me for the rest of my life. As the last legacy of my husband, for my own personal ease of mind, I need him back. His absence gnaws at me like a gaping wound. Wow, she really misses her droid, doesn't she? Please, I beg of you, return my droid to me. Thank you. Thank you, Master Jedi. If you find him, please, Send him home to me. I need him so much. ชีวิตไอ้ตาการจ้องจิตจาอันนี้ตัวตัวเนี่ยชุนามุลีราต้องคิดว่ามาอาทิตย์ตัวตัวเนี่ยก็ต้องคิดว่ามันชีวิตไ
Yes? Yes? Yeah. 
When I embrace the dark side, this is where I sought my solace. It is mine. When I slew my master, Quatra, I knew I could never go back. And now I revel in my dark power. Power enough to crush the life from someone such as you. Or so I had thought. <sighs> what is it you want? Why do you bother me? The Council has sent you here to kill me. Why then, when you bested me so easily, did you not simply finish your task? 
Is it not apparent that I can never be saved? You... you do not? I am pathetic. I sit here and thank myself to be great by embracing the dark side, but I am nothing. There is no way I could be turned back. I always thought they held me back, or jealous of my power. This is only because I was not good enough to meet their standards. I never have been. I thank you for your kind words, Jedi. I seem to still have much to learn, both about being a Jedi and about myself. But I wish the cost of my ignorance had not been so high. I wish that my master had not suffered because of me. I only wish things could have been different. If she were alive now, there would be so much I would say to her. So much I would apologize for. How can the Council ever take me back with what I have done? Striking my master down in anger is unforgivable. I should convince them that I am truly repentant. That I am willing to forsake the dark side. And maybe, just maybe, they would accept me back. Do you think they would? Could it be possible after what I've done? I thank you, Master Jedi. I will return to the Council then. I shall submit myself to their judgment and hope they will forgive me. Again, I thank you. I am sure I will hear great things about you in the future. Thank you.